Hello family, we bless the name of the Lord for today. We glorify him for his mercy, for his faithfulness, for his continued protection over our lives. Today I'm reading Exodus chapter 2 from verse 15 to verse 22. When Pharaoh heard about this matter, he tried to kill Moses. Then Moses fled from Pharaoh's presence and took refuge in the land of Midian, where he sat down by a well. Now the priests of Midian had seven daughters, and they came and drew water from the well where Moses was resting, and filled the trials to water their father's flock. Then shepherds came and drove them away. But Moses stood up and held them and watered their flock. When they came to Uriel, Jethro, their father, he said, How is it that you have come back so soon today? They said, An Egyptian saved us from the shepherds. He even drew water from the well for us and watered the flock. Then he said to his daughters, Where is he? Why have you left the man behind? Invite him to have something to eat. Moses was willing to remain with the man, and he gave Moses his daughter Zipporah to be his wife. She gave birth to a son, and he named him Gershom, stranger, for he said, I have been a stranger in a foreign land. Today, I want to share with you that a person's character makes room for them. Now, this is the story of Moses, what it transpires in his life after he had fled Egypt because Pharaoh wanted to kill him because he had killed an Egyptian. The Bible says that again, he flees similar to Jacob. He, fl he flees for fear of his life, to preserve his life. And um, as he sat by the well, the daughters of Jethro came. Again, it appears that these daughters hadn't been treated kindly by the other shepherds who I presume may have been male. Because back then it was mostly males who would act as shepherds. But these were female shepherds. And so somehow it seemed that these shepherds that had come to see Jethro's daughters somehow mistreated them. And once again, we see Moses come to the rescue and he helps them and he waters their flock. He did not know who these people were. He could have decided again that he didn't really mind because at the end of the day it was none of his business. He had a lot of problems of his own, having to flee from Egypt to a land that he obviously didn't have any connection in. But... Because of the characteristics of Moses, when he saw that these shepherds had driven or were trying to drive away Jethro's daughters, he who hated injustice thought, I cannot just sit by and do nothing. However, we, find, we see that in this scenario, he deals with it in a very um, diplomatic manner, that he doesn't confront the shepherds. But somehow he's able to stand up for these women and he helps them and he waters their flock. As a result of that, he's offered hospitality by Jethro himself. And the Bible then says that as a result of that, he went on or he agreed to remain with Jethro, which means that he must have had an offer of staying on. And I'm sure while he was staying with Jethro, he proved himself to be somebody who was trustworthy, somebody who had good character. Enough for Jethro to be so pleased with to the point where Jethro then decides that he would offer his daughter Zipporah to Moses as his wife. And as a result of that, the Bible makes us understand that God blesses Moses with a son of his own. And he lives in or with Jethro for about 40 years. And so today, as I share this, we, we've come across different passages of scripture and in fact even in the podcast in the past few months I'm sure that I've alluded to the fact that it's really important that we are mindful of how we live our lives because often people may be watching people may be observing and what they observe of us may say so many things um, to them about who we are bearing in mind that when Jethro's daughter saw Moses he was dressed exactly like an Egyptian and who knows maybe he was even dressed as an Egyptian prince and 
perhaps the way they kind of perceived the Egyptians to be, it was unlikely for any Egyptian to even want to help a shepherdess. Bearing in mind that when Joseph's brothers went into the land of Egypt and he went and spoke on their behalf and gave them counsel as to what they were to say to Pharaoh, he made it clear that the Egyptians didn't really like shepherds. They really didn't want to have anything to do with them, which is why he said to them that when he asks you, he's, Joseph says to his brothers, when Pharaoh asks you what you do, you tell him that we are shepherds. And as a result of that, he would somehow agree to the fact that you guys can stay in Goshen because you'll be far removed from the people of Egypt because of the fact that they don't necessarily like or they detest shepherds. So for this man, Moses, who was dressed as an Egyptian, to have gone and decided to help these women who were shepherdesses, spoke a lot about his character. And I believe that that was what stood him in good stead, even in the sight of Jethro, for Jethro to offer him a place for him to dwell in peace, because there's no inclination from scripture that there was any sort of um, resentment or any bad relationship that um, evolved um, between Moses and Jethro. And so I believe that the character, again, all the values, all the principles that his mother may have instilled in him is what helped him to be able to put himself in a place where, though he was coming from royalty, in quotes, he had been treated and raised as one. When he found himself in a lowly state, he was still able to walk in humility. He was still able to cause pride not to get a better part of him because if pride had set in, he would have been unkind to those shepherdesses. He would have ignored them and who knows, he would never have ended up in Jethro's home and perhaps would never have even had the opportunity of uh, marrying Jethro's daughter. So today, as I share this, let us always remember that our lifestyle is supposed to be one that brings glory to God, that causes people to know that, you know what, not only are we Christians, but we can deal with situations. It may not be the pleasant of situations, but we're able to at least still maintain our values and our principles. And when we do that, sometimes there may be people who are watching from afar off, who you may not even know are watching, but your actions, your deeds will speak volumes for you at a time when you have need. Because it was the testimony or the report that Jethro's daughters took that caused um, Jethro to invite Moses into his home. If they hadn't given a good report concerning him, there's no way that Jethro would have invited him to come into his house. And so let's remember, sometimes it's difficult, sometimes it's challenging. But so long as what we do, we know that when we're put in this position to, be, to do right, we, we do it because we're able to. Let's do it. Even if people may not be watching, let us do what is right because God in heaven sees and he's the one who often will move on the heart of a person to show you kindness or to reward you for your good character. Before I go, we're going to go over our memory verse. In Matthew 25 verse 40, the king will answer and say to them, I assure you and will solemnly say to you, to the extent that you did it for one of these brothers of mine, even the least of them, you did it for me. The Lord bless you and I look forward to sharing with you tomorrow. In Jesus' name, amen.